Heyo, Duckies! Andy Lee here, back with another advanced OBS tutorial, and today we're looking at docs inside of OBS. I know with the recent version of OBS, the 25.0.8, it does have the Twitch login system that does allow you to be able to pull uh, Twitch chat and everything like that on screen, but there was one doc that I really wanted on there, and that was my channel points rewards queue, so I can manage that on there without my moderators trolling me. I don't want to get into that right now, but I'm going to show you how to add all that into any version of OBS. And the reason why I'm saying that is because Nutty actually covered a version of OBS on his channel that allowed you to do filters, um, sources, transition in and out. So rather than doing a whole scene transitions, you can transition sources in and out. Definitely go and check him out. His link is down below. That video link is down below. It's awesome. I love the feature. It adds so many unique possibilities into my stream. If you want to see what sort of stuff I'm doing, come and visit me on twitch.tv slash andylippy, alright guys? Like the video, subscribe, put your rock over the stone, let's go! So to get this working, we don't really need anything, as long as we've got OBS 25 and above, I'd recommend just, if you're using Streamlabs OBS or OBS.Live, get moved over to OBS Studio because you've got so much more functionality on there and everything works because it's open source, it's so easy to use and the reason why people use Streamlabs OBS is for the stuff like that I'm about to show you now, which you're going to be able to do in traditional OBS, super simple to do. So let's take a look at my blank OBS here. If we go to view, you can see docs, and there's different docs on here. And we can add custom browser docs. You won't see these ones at the bottom here, because that's what we're going to add today. If we press custom browser docs, we get a list of the doc name that you want and the URL. So I've already created mine that I want for Twitch chat, activity feed, channel points reward queue, and the quick actions buttons. I'm going to show you how to find these links, okay? So go into your Twitch dashboard just on here, and you'll see all these different panels that you've got here. If you're not seeing some of these, press this little pencil just here, and you'll be able to change different settings just here. You'll be able to see which panels you can add, like the mod actions and different things like that. But we don't need to worry about anything like that because I've got all the ones that I want on here now. So the first thing you need to add is the chat. So we're going to just click on the three little dots, the ellipsis, and press pop out. This will then load it up in a pop out window and you can copy that URL just here. So once we've got that, we're going to pop back into OBS on our custom browser docs and we'll call this chat. Paste the URL just into there and apply. This will then pop chat up just in the middle just here, okay? It might not load for me because I've already got one installed. Oh, uh, no, it's okay. It's loaded it in. When yours loads, it will ask you to get logged in. The reason why we wanted you to put chat on first is because that is pretty much the only window that gives you a prompt to log into Twitch. So once you're logged in, it'll show up your actual thing like that and you can add it, move it around like you would do with anything. Another reason why people use Streamlabs is because you can do stuff like this, but you can do this in OBS Studio now. So we've got the chat just there. Now we can start adding some other panels from Twitch. So I told you that I wanted to add the activity feed. Same thing again, the ellipsis, press pop out, get that link, I'm gonna copy that, go back to OBS, view, Docs, custom browser docs. I'm going to go activity feed. Paste that URL in just there. Press apply. It's going to open up in the middle. But because we've already logged into Twitch here, it's on here. We can drag that over there. Done and done. So the one that I was telling you about was the channel points reward queue. And that's not actually available in the latest version of OBS because it asks you to log in. So this is the workaround to get it on there. Make sure you've added another chat window into OBS, not the same as before, and log in, follow that exact same step, and then go back to your page just here, and you can press Manage Reward Request just there, and that'll bring it up in a pop-out window. Who would have thought it? I mean, these, you, can, you don't even have to do this. You could just copy that URL just there, but type in your channel name just there. Because we're already logged in inside of OBS in that chat window. We could do it there. So I'm going to call this reward queue. And then add that URL just here. And apply. 
and it pulls it out and we can just drag it into OBS again. Stack them together and we can swap between the two just there. It's so easy to do and it's nice to have that reward queue there because I have stuff like drop down and give me 10 press ups and my moderators think it's very clever to press reject so everybody gets the points back and I end up doing 400 bloody press ups. Not, it's not what we're about. All right, I'm gonna get into that another time. It's not great. Come and visit me on Twitch, okay? Uh, and that's pretty much it. You can add absolutely any URL into OBS. So if there's anything that you directly want, or maybe some, there's so many things that you could do with it. It's completely up to you. Any sing, pardon me, any single URL you can add directly into OBS, okay, guys? So if you've got any questions on it, let me know in the comments below, or on the Twitch, or Discord. Come and just find me, okay? I'll answer it for you. Like the video if it's helped you out and it'll help me with the YouTube algorithm, whatever that thing does nowadays. And also subscribe, okay, guys, for more future tips, notification bell, all that jazz. Put your rock with the stone. I'll see you in the next vid.